Alright guys, welcome to the channel. We're going to be solving the first question from the seventh chapter of the Britton Johnson textbook. Uh, we need to determine the internal forces, axial force, shearing force, and bending moment at point J. As indicated in the figure, so we previously solved the question 675 in the channel. Uh, so it's one video right before this one, or if you go to the playlist Britton Johnson uh, playlist, you're going to see the question 675 that's already been solved. And uh, what we need from that problem 75 was that at the end of that, we found our CX was 720 pounds and we found it's to the left and we found our CY 140 pounds and that was downward. So we are interested at point J. So we're going to pick this part of the member. Uh, in order to figure out all the unknowns that we have. So I'm going to draw the free by diagram for that section that we have. So as I mentioned, we have CX to the left 720. We have CY downward 140. And this is our point J. We have one axial force, one shearing force, and one bending moment. You can just show forces maybe with F, V, and consider moment M, which is going to cover all the three reactions that we have at that point. We are in equilibrium. We have same equation, sum of all forces in X, Y. Uh, directions equals zero, and we also have a moment equation. So uh, let's start with the moment again about point J since we have the most unknowns in there. So that way we can get rid of F and V. So we're going to have the moment of the 140 pounds force, which as we can see, the moment is in clockwise direction. So we have minus 140 times the length of here, which is 8 inches. We're talking about this part, so 140 times 8. And we consider a counterclockwise moment, m is equal to 0. So we can find our m, or our first reaction. In here, 140 times 8, so we'll be 0 to 11 pounds inch. And the positive sign shows that the moment is counterclockwise, so our assumption was correct. So now let's do the sum of all forces in x direction equals 0. So we have our F. We have minus 720 pounds, which is the reaction at C. And that's pretty much everything equals 0. So our F is 720 pounds. No negative sign. That shows the, correct, the direction that we assumed was correct. And the last one is the sum of all forces in y direction equals zero, which means uh, v minus 140 is equal to zero. So our v is 140 pounds. No negative sign. Uh, the direction was correct for v. And yeah, that's pretty much everything for this question. Uh, let me know if you guys have any questions. Again, in question 75, we saw where, like, how we can get this CX and CY. But if you want to go quickly, basically go with the free body diagram of the member ABC. And we are in equilibrium, same scenario, and we can find CX and CY. And you guys take care. I'll see you in the next one.